I want to shift gears and go to a little bit more coverage of what's happening across the pond. Now, I don't particularly care about the he said, she said of the Meghan Markle uh, conversation. But what I am fascinated by is this attempt to rewrite British history, this attempt to mm. make it seem as though they were not the original colonizers, as if they were not the ones who utilized white supremacy, divide and conquer tactics across the globe in order to dominate the globe where the sun never set on the British Empire. Uh, Nigel Farage, former conservative member of parliament in the UK, and leader of the Brexit campaign appeared on Newsmax, which is a United States based right wing propaganda outlet. He appeared on there on Wednesday evening to discuss to discuss Oprah Winfrey's interview with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. In his defense of the monarchy, he said the following. He said, nobody in the world in history has done more for people of color than the British royal family. Let's take a look. <laughs> exactly. The queen and the royal family have spent the last 70 years touring round the Commonwealth. The vast majority of those people are black and Asian. I would put it to you, nobody in the world in history has done more for people of color than the British royal family. I'm disgusted, the British people are disgusted, and by a majority of two to one, opinion polls now say we want them stripped of their titles. Right. So let me just let me repeat what this clown said. He said nobody in the history of the world in history has done more for I think he must. I think he meant to say two. I think this is what he actually meant to say. He said nobody in the world in history has done more to people of color mm. than the British royal family. Because that, he, that he, he's, he's, he's missing. He's mixing up his prepositions there. He's saying four people of color. No, I, I, I just it, it, it amazes me. And then even Prince. William, whichever the older one that, that's bald like us, um, he came out and said that the British family, the royal family is absolutely not racist. Y'all are the original racists. The like, original. <laughs> you guys come from the bloodline of the original racists who conquered and colonized black and brown countries across Hello. the globe to the extent where your empire was was visible from sun up to sundown. Like the, the again, I want to say the sun never set. This is what you all used to brag about. And the only way you're able to make that claim or the only way you were able to accomplish it was through literally destroying entire nations and erecting a white supremacist structure that divided and conquered the people of those lands. And yes, I'm sorry, that doesn't just go away because now we're in the 21st century and now you guys are trying to, you know, whatever. But you still have colonies. You still have nations that are still setting themselves free from having the queen be the head of state. And so it's, it's just, it, it blows me away the nerve of the original colonizers. Of the and this is why I go so hard. Like when whenever anybody asks me, my only real interest in this is to the extent, the extent to which Meghan Markle and Oprah Winfrey and Prince Harry can actually lead to the downfall of the monarchy, because yes. monarchies by itself, in and of itself, has been a plague, a blight on world history, and the British crown is leading amongst them. But this crown, right. I got, I want to play it one more time because I just want to make sure we heard it right. He's saying that nobody, this is what, this is, uh, I got to watch my mouth and, and remember I have a very diverse audience, but this is what, this is what, <laughs> this is what y'all cousins and them do. They yeah, love, right. they absolutely love saying like, like this isn't, the, the Confederate flag isn't about racism, it's about our heritage, right? Huh? You know, it's literally about slavery, right? It's and they love to say, oh, slavery. we're the least, we're the least race, I've got black friends, huh? No, this this is part and parcel of exactly what. what and you look at who they connected with before we watch it again. They connected with Newsmax, which is the leading right. edge of white supremacy media in this country. It's just clean and sanitized with people with suits on and flashy, you know, flashy graphics. But underneath it or not even underneath it, right at the surface level, Newsmax is one of the leading racist outfits in this entire country. And so, of course, Nigel Farage would connect with this Trump laden Newsmax organization because they connect on the white supremacy. They yep. connect so much on their racism that the Americans Right. The, the racists here in America are more than happy to side with 
the monarchy against which we wage the Revolutionary War. Right. So all the time they're sitting here talking about uh, uh, the founding fathers and, and, the, and the American Revolution and the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence was written against the British crown. But they love their racism so much that they're willing to make league with the very people this nation had to declare independence from. Let's take a look at that clip one more time as he tells you <laughs> that nobody has done more for people of color. Rather, <laughs> nobody has done more to <laughs> people of color than the British crown. Look again. Racist, the queen and the royal family have spent the last 70 years touring round the Commonwealth. The vast majority of those people mm -hmm. are black yeah. and Asian. I would put it to you, nobody in the world in history has done more for people of color than the British royal family. I'm disgusted, the British people are disgusted, and by a majority of two to one, opinion polls now say we want them stripped of their titles. So, what so a, anyway, what man. a credit at what what y'all did for for <laughs> black people in the past seventy years that y'all so proud of that you Come feel on. like you got to get on TV <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, what y'all? He sounds like Dwayne said. He, he sounds just like Trump's ass. It's just you just no boom. one has done more for the coloreds than me. <laughs> this is exactly what no he said. Like. Nobody has done anything for the niggas what I have. <laughs> It's all right, you know, Donald, he sounds just like he sounds just like Donald Trump. Right. Because this is what they do. They are rewriting. They're attempting to rewrite history. And, and, and the bad part about it, James, is that it is all they have to do is say it. And yeah. they have enough believers and followers who are going to repeat it. And so now history is being rewritten in real time where they're going to say no one has done more for people. Of and I guess if you let's 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 break it down just a little bit more before we go to a first break. If you consider their perspective, they really thought that they were civilizing yep. these savages. So from that perspective, he still believes that they've done more for us because before them, we were uncivilized. Before them, we didn't have culture in their mind. Before them, mm -hmm. this is Nigel Farage speaking, before Nigel Farage and his original colonizers came and dominated the global south, we were nothing but but savages and huts. So we should be grateful that this is what he's saying. Honestly, in his heart, he believes that by them coming and conquering all these nations, killing millions of people, destroying families, and doing so all for profit, he honestly believes that they did us a favor. Yep. Tell you what, take your favor <laughs> and shove it up your British.